Well, Kevin, you got your belly full again. How you feeling? I feel good. We um, took a few minutes in uh, here in Flagstaff, Arizona, to get off. You know, what's basically Route 66, you know, Route 40 now. And we stopped at the Crown Railroad Cafe, which we're in now. And um, it's interesting because I don't know if it's just tonight, but there's not very many people here, which I always see as an opportunity. I think it's important to get off the main drags and away from the chain restaurants on uh, road trips like this and see what's out there. And this is definitely an independent, obviously railroad themed, the train that goes around the top while you're eating. Again, so often you won't even notice it. <laughs> and right across the street there, not, not one right now, but that's the uh, a main railroad artery that goes across the country. That's a main railroad artery there that, that goes across the country uh, bringing freight cars and, and freight trains back and forth. And all along Route 66, you've got railroads and, and we're talking some of the biggest trains in the country with you know four and five and six locomotives and, and lots and lots of cars. Uh, trailer, uh, tractor trailer, trailers double stacked. And um, that's good to see because whenever you see those, those trains go by, they're bringing you your stuff. And it could be the speed parts for your hot rod or or, you know, daily things like the food you're going to eat in the house, you know. So the more trains, you know, I think the better. But um, you, you asked me about, you know, eating. This place was fantastic. I had one of the best uh, steak fajita or chicken fajitas I've ever had. And we've been developing our philosophy on road food for a long time. And this trip has been really good because what we've learned is that even though I've had a Waffle House craving since day one, if you eat a bunch of pancakes and waffles and, and uh, high carb stuff, you'll end up falling asleep at the wheel. You know, lots of sugar and you'll be out cold in a few minutes. So you, you don't want to do that stuff. You want to eat lots of protein, beans, rice, steak, and this place was fantastic. But it all kind of makes me think, here's a, a tremendous opportunity to come to a place like this. And the bummer was seeing the railroad, you know, the trains go by outside with railroad names on the cars that say things like China Shipping and Yang Ming and, and you know, less and less U.S. Express, right? And I kind of think that the more China Shipping we're going to see, our whole country might turn into an empty restaurant.